Hey, how's it going? I have a really interesting topic. At least I find it interesting. It's the creating AI art. You can do it for free, and it's really fast. Um, I'm going to start with this uh, one app that I came across. I was working with some Google Collabs, or Collabs, which were kind of neat, but they were super slow. But these are just super fast, and it just goes out and creates brand new art images based upon an input string that you give it. And they're just kind of really neat. Just, you know, like the one here. Um, so do go ahead and use it. You just, uh, like I said, you have to download and, and install the app, the Wombo Dream app. And then once you get it, you just go ahead and type in your uh, your search criteria string. And in this case, I'm going to do Destruction of the Tomb of Horrors, just because that's the, kind of the first thing that came, that came to my mind when I went, went to, to do this. You type it in, you choose an art style, and you hit Generate. And then you can actually watch it as it brings in all of these elements and builds this picture, this image, based upon the, cr the input criteria that you uh, put in there. And then you can use these for whatever you want, really. I mean, as far as generating ideas for games or generating ideas for uh, new campaigns, new characters, new plot ideas, new plot devices. You want to have an image you can what you want to show to the players. As you see here, I was able to download it. And then I just hit generate again on the same exact phrase. And it's creating me a brand new image. Not the same image, but a brand new image based upon that same input criteria again, which then I can just download to my computer, save it to my computer, and then if I want to do something else, just hit clear text, and I can put in a new search phrase. I can choose either to keep the same style, I have Dark Fantasy picked, and go Fantasy, Festival, Mystic, Salvador Dali, uh, Etching, there's just all kinds of things to pick from, uh, Baroque style. And you just hit the generate button again, and it'll just go ahead and create something brand new, something I've never seen before. These are not images, it's, it's not going out to Google or someplace and finding an image and showing it to you. It's actually creating these images on the fly based upon the, the uh, string that you input. So it's really kind of a neat, uh, crazy thing. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and throw all of the images that I've created so far, about 800 of them, at the end of this video, about one every second. Tell me what you think down below. I, I just really amazed by this technology. Anyway, catch you next time. Bye.
Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please give a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Catch you next time. Bye.